I've been asleep for far too long. I need to wake up. What's up and welcome to Football Manager 2017 on my channel JNO. I'm of course JNO and we are going to get back into the West Ham, but it's not the world anymore, it's now Mission Impossible because we are going to give ourselves some rules and some goals and if we don't hit them, we move club. It's that simple. So we have two seasons in every situation with every club we go to. We have to win a trophy within those two seasons and then we get to reset. So we have two seasons now. If we win anything, we then get another two seasons from that point onwards. But we cannot win something we've already won. So we've won the Euro Cup last season with this West Ham side. This is the side from the West Ham world. So we can't win the Euro Cup again. So if we get knocked out of the Champs League and go into the Euro Cup, winning that doesn't help us reset the time to two years again. And... I feel like that will give us something new, something fresh, something no one else is doing. And I'm going to approach this differently now. I'm going to have some fun with it and I'm going to be a bit more... I don't know how to put this, but you see how big this head is? I'm quite a big-headed individual and the uh, doctor told the world, maybe not the world, the FM community, that they needed to step up their game and be a bit more creative, give themselves some more time, and who am I not to listen to a doctor? And the doctor may have given birth to something a little bit more cocky. I feel like one of the best videos I've done on this channel was my cocky, over-the-top, analytical, trying to have a laugh at myself and other people, YouTuber money video. So you may get a bit more of that as well. I'm just going to have fun on this channel now. The FPL channel can be where I'm a bit more serious. This can be where I have a little bit more fun. So we are going to get into West Ham, Mission Impossible. Let's have a look at the results we've been getting since you were last with us. Okay, so in the West Ham World final episode ever as we're rebooting the series, we played Arsenal and Paris Saint-Germain. and We won 5-2 and then lost 2-0 in the Euro Super Cup. Since then, we have gone undefeated in the Premier League, winning four games on the trot and then drawing against Southampton. We did lose 2-1 to Bayern Munich away in the Champions Cup, though. That was going to be the episode you saw, but I just didn't like the episode. It felt dead. It didn't feel like a very good video at all, so I'm just not putting it up on the channel. So instead, we're going to go into the Chelsea game in the EFL Cup at home and then Stoke away. EFL Cup isn't something we've won yet, so if we win it, we get to reset and have another two years at West Ham. There's also been a new signing, only one, but it's Nathan Aki coming in as a left back, going to play that inverted left back role, hopefully take over from Daily Blind as he's getting on in age a bit, and he looks very promising, and we know I like a Dutch player here at West Ham, so Nathan Aki comes in looking very good and has already scored for the club against Southampton in the last game, scoring on his debut in the Premier League. So let's move on and hopefully carry on in the EFL Cup. But I don't see why we wouldn't. We are better than Chelsea. We are potentially the Premier Club in London. And hopefully this season the Premier... The Premier... Oh. Wow. Okay. The uh, gas is because this is actually Pepsi. If you can... If I can angle it enough without tipping it on my computer. Yeah, it's going to be bedtime soon for me because in real life I'm a security guard and uh, don't want coffee before I go to bed. But I'd already planned the opening skit, so you know. Okay, so it's the first game of this episode, first game of the rebooted series, and it's the first cup that we could win to reset our two years. So we are starting against Chelsea at the London Stadium. Chelsea are a team that have been very solid in the Premier League, but as you can see from our record, we have actually beaten them eight times out of 13, and we're at home, so we're expecting the win here today. We are going to start the game on control, maybe not be as attacking as we usually are, and the lineup we're starting with is Ruli in goal, Aki and Nai as the two wing-backs, or Nay, or... <sighs> Look, one thing is never going to change on this channel, and that is my pronunciation of names is always going to be absolutely shocking. We have Lamos and Bjorked, or Bjorked. 
just give up JNO, just give up. With Oxford sitting just in front of them. Lewis Cook and Hughes, an English midfield there. Oxford, Cook and Hughes with a very foreign attacking force of Munir, Farrakh Yilmaz and Davy Clarsen. So let's get into this game, hopefully get a win. The biggest surprise probably on the bench is then Donka. Uh, we have PK on the bench for once, so PK might actually get some game time. But if you didn't know, I pay PK about 200k a week to sit on the bench. I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be at wasting money. By the way, I thought, special occasion, it's a cup game. First episode of this rebooted series, so we've upgraded to wine, special occasion. Anyway, we are actually favourites to see of Chelsea. We have really gone up in the bookies' estimations this season. We were even favourites to beat Bayern Munich. It didn't happen, but we were the favourites. We have chosen to leave Leon Goretzka out of the starting eleven. That's because his performances haven't been as good as Will Hughes. So, simple. Alright, we're going to go with assertively, and we're going to tell them... We're the favourites to go out there and perform. And we have some faith in the boys. Let's get out there and get this victory. And hopefully you can see what I've been seeing, which is a dominant West Ham side, apart from the last two games. Let's forget the last two games. But before that, we were absolutely dominant. Then as soon as I recorded it, we weren't. So, fingers crossed that's not about to happen again. Okay, finally something's happening. It's a Chelsea corner. Can we get the ball out, please? Can we get it away from the box? It's deflected clear. Literally, I've sat here and watched absolutely nothing happen for 37 minutes. I didn't even talk, because it just seemed like nothing, there was no point in talking as Suarez runs forward. Don't put a good ball into the box. Good headed clear. And Munoye picks it up. Go towards the ball. Jeez. Okay, we've dropped to standard because all of our shots have been from distance while we were on control. So I was worried we weren't pulling out their defence enough. They might be playing very defensively against us. So yeah, that was a really bad first half of uh, football and Football Manager. Way to kick off a rebooted series. And by the way, I put out some tweets trying to uh, hype up the rebooted series. And I put out a little poll. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Nice to know where your loyalties lie. Anyway, let's kick off the second half. We've uh, rolled up the boys a bit with a passionate halftime speech going, we believe in you, you can make the difference. But to be honest, this has been a really rubbish game, especially if you look at the quality of chances. In fact, we may even drop back to counter because we are not getting behind the defence. Maybe we need to push up to attacking. But... It seems to be all Chelsea. Hopefully we're going to win the ball and have a counter-attack here. But otherwise, this could be a really disappointing start to the series because we've not even had a good quality chance in this first episode and we could get knocked out of the EFL Cup, which is exactly how you want to start a new series or a rebooted series. Absolutely shocking. They are all over us. Good tackle, though, by Cook, but we don't actually win possession of the ball. Oh, this doesn't look good. You know what, YOLO, we're going to go up to attacking. Maybe we've just been too kind and uh, respected Chelsea too much as Nathan Aki against his former club has fouled a player. Is he about to get sent off? Has he already got a yellow? Second yellow. Wow, this has gone well. It's a good thing I've got an alcoholic drink. Jeez. All right, so Oxford, you can drop back here. Castro can play as a left back. So which defender is doing worse? Alright, we'll put it... Lemos is actually playing the best, so we're not going to put it on him. We're going to put it on Oxford. We're going to play with 10 men in this formation. Not that I'd want to. And we'll also bring on a Bandit who has a knack of scoring some good goals. Because David Carson is playing shit. So we've raised the mentality, but also we've lost a man. So uh, that's good news for us, surely. 
Hopefully this will open up them, Chelsea, a little bit more. We've actually now had a half chance. Now that we actually have a Chelsea team that think they can win this game, we've actually got a decent chance. And Naï now wins the ball. Has this opened the game up as Munoia plays it across with Van Der to Yilmaz. Yilmaz, Munoia, Cook. Go on, Cook. Oh, wow, you've gone for the cheeky chip and you've cheekily been an arsehole. But finally, finally, we're getting some chances. The game has opened up, boys. Ah, oh, Courtois. Stop being such a good Belgian. Why are Belgian players so good? I mean, Yilmaz is probably one of my best players, and he's Belgian as well. All right, Bjorked to Van Der. Van Der turns inside, gets tackled by Thiago. Could this be a Chelsea counter-attack now? Have we uh, pushed forward too much? Get a tackling, boy. Oh, wow, you've just been megged. How have we not won that ball yet? Oh my god, we won it like twice. And Ruli palms it into his own net. Of course he does. Of course you freaking do. Mission Impossible truly is starting to look impossible as we have dropped a goal. Ruli should have saved it. We made two tackles there and just, god damn it. Alright, come on. Get creative. We're going to stay on attacking. Because I think they're going to now go defensive. Because they don't have a set. Come on, keep pushing. You've got a man more than us. Score another goal. Don't actually score another goal. I was just... I was just being Larry. I was just being Larry. Don't take the mick. Good defensive block there. But seriously. There's no need for you to score again. Chelsea. I was I was just playing. I was just having a laugh. Good claim by Ruli. Shame you couldn't save that shot. YOLO, we're going overload. Nine long shots. Why are we not getting behind their defence? This is shocking. We're actually gonna get knocked out of the EFL Cup as the first step. The get as the first game of the episode, great. Although Nye wins the ball here, Munye, play it back to Cook. How much time we got? We got 30 seconds. Can we have a last gasp equaliser? Yulmaz plays it to Munye, through to Nye. Nye put a bud, put a bud, put a bud. Bud FM. There you go. Free, free advertising for bud. As I stumble over my words, put a bud box into the box. Put a bud ball into the box. Come on, boys. All right, good tackle there by Munaye. Wins it. Van Der. Come on, get the ball forward. <sighs> Why? That is not how you want to start a series. That just is not how you want to start a series. We should have won that match. I'm still the best manager, so it's just clearly the team. It's not me. It's not me at all. Okay, so we're going into the second game of the episode after Nathan Aki decided he still was loyal to Chelsea. Anyway, we're playing Stoke and we have a good record against Stoke because that went so well for us against Chelsea. We have actually beaten Stoke nine times out of 13. They play a 4-4-2 formation. We are currently sitting in third with a game in hand on Spurs with 16 points. A win today gets us to 19. Hopefully Liverpool have a difficult fixture today. Or it isn't actually today, so I don't know who they're playing. They're playing someone that isn't one of those clubs. So probably isn't Stoke. Figure it out, Johnny. Liverpool are playing Bournemouth. Figure it out, JNO. Liverpool are playing Bournemouth. It's not that hard to work out. But as you can see, we are third. We are flying high at the moment. So a victory is very important for us today against Stoke. So we have some changes to make. Of course, Nathan Aki can't play because he's an arsehole. Uh, Thiago Castro is going to come on. And of course, we're then going to bring on Aya for... Nathan Aki on the bench. We're going to bring on Casemiro for Bjorked. And then swap Oxford and Casemiro around. And then Munoye is going to come off for a Van Der. And Goretzka can come on for Lewis Cook. And I believe we're happy with that. So let's get into the game. Hopefully you can see what I've been seeing, which is a dominant West Ham side. Because so far, every time I put this camera on... It all goes to shit. Alright, so passionate team talk. Come on, lads. We're favourites here for a reason. 
There we go. Who likes to see greens? We like greens with JNO because greens mean our guys are pumped. Come on. Okay, Stoker going forward and they found a great ball through to Walter and they've already hit the crossbar. Perfect start. I was really pumped for this reboot because I was thinking, you know what? This West Ham side looked like they can beat most teams now and this is a second chance and it's a goal with Ruley palming it into the top of the net. What the hell is wrong with this team? Right, we're going to drop to standard. Maybe we're pushing too far forward in an away game. I was so pumped for a massive episode, put teasers out, gave myself new rules, just was excited and blair. Blair. What what is this West Ham team doing? They were so good. Alright, Goretzka to Yulmaz. Yulmaz into Hughes. Hughes to Clarson. Clarson back to Casemiro. Over the top to Hughes. Go on, Hughes. Go on, Nevander. Nevander, why do I not play him? Why do I not play him? He's great. He always scores. Or well, recently he always scores. Seriously, the teaser clip I put out a couple of days ago for the reboot of this series. The, all those goals were from those four games and the Arsenal game. And my team looked on fire. And then I come and record on YouTube and my team are shit. I mean, look at that. They're dominating us. All right, I think we're catching up, actually. I think they dominated us when I was on control. But now Yilmaz with a ball into the box. Oh, dear. Palencia's going to be able to break now. Where are my defence? All right, there is a defender there. All right, let's not get countered here, please. Um, excuse me, fellas. Fellas, you're meant to be good. Fellas. Oh, my God. Are you shitting me? You actually shitting me. What the fuck is going on? Ruli, you are shocking. I'm going to have to try William Hamilton back in goal. Ruli hasn't been saving shit. Right, I feel like I'm getting countered, so I'm going to go to counter, sit back a bit more. Let's get a goal before half time, and make it competitive second half. Right, Yilmaz, inside to Hughes, Hughes, to Clarsen, Clarsen, back to Castro, Castro, inside to Hughes, Hughes, Yilmaz, go on lads, Clarsen, go on. Wow, we're kicking it into ourselves. Thank you, Casemiro. That's what I bought you for. Alright, I don't know why you're running forward, but if you score, always forgiven. Get in, Casemiro, with a bursting run through, and it's 2-2 before half time. That is that was desperately needed because for some strange reason, Ruli is shit. Casemiro just decided I've had, I've had enough of this. The defence ain't doing shit, so I'm gonna run forward and score. The Brazilians, Evander and Casemiro coming through for me in this one. Making it even at half time. Thank God for the Brazilians. Alright, so we've kicked off the second half now. And uh, hopefully Oh my god, Lamos! Lamos, what on earth have you done? And really actually saved something, but Mauricio Lamos, I swear he glitched out. That that wasn't even a logical move for a human being to make. I know they're not human beings. I'm fully aware of that. I'm not that sad, but I think this is real life. I mean, I sometimes take it as seriously as real life as, oh my God. What the blue hell is my defense doing? Screw this. Go get some goals because clearly our defence is absolutely shite. I don't understand. I really, really don't understand. Reese Oxford, 6.2. Reese Oxford, you've been like one of my main men. Naive. Naive on a... Wow, Naive on a 6.3. I don't think I've ever seen him on a 6.3. I can't believe I'm actually bringing on PK. But my team have been so shit, PK seems like a good decision. Oh, come on, boys. Do something with your life. 
We desperately need a goal, so Munay is coming on. How how am I losing three? How is my defence that bad? All right, Yilmaz to Hughes, Hughes to Munayir. Munayir through to Yilmaz, Yilmaz through to Evander. Go on, Evander. Go on, the Brazilian. My little Brazilian magician. Bjorked into Goretzka. Come on. Let's have the comeback, boys. Get in. Goretzka with the goal. I'm sorry I ever doubted you, Goretzka. Celebratory drink as Bjorked plays it back to Goretzka. And bang. Little deflection, but... We're not bothered. Get the ball in the bloody back of the net. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, can we get a last gasp winner? Or are we just going to have another disappointing loss and then draw? Which is what happened... Can someone look at the person in the box? Are you... Oh, God. Game. Game. What... Why would you do this to me, game? First of all, why on earth is there four people running towards Walters? Then why on earth does everyone just kind of run over to Janssen and just leave him Bula and just what? Just what? What is wrong with you? My defence was decent at the end of last season. Go on, Munyo here. Oh, my days. When you start wondering if Football Manager is your game, that's what I should call this episode. What on earth happened to my team? You were not good enough today. You were shit, basically. We've gone from not having lost in the league to now getting a stupid 4-3 defeat to Stoke. Freaking Stoke, mid-table fodder. Nah, wait. Guys, this is not acceptable. Team meeting. Oh, well, that's worked, hasn't it? Anyway, guys. I, I hyped it up. And then failed to deliver, basically. No, no, no. I didn't fail to deliver. I, I was amazing. I was brilliant. My team must have gone out on the piss the night before both games. Or, they just don't want to play for me anymore. This is like a Chelsea Mourinho situation. They're revolting. And if they keep performing like this, I may decide, mission impossible, I'm meant to be winning trophies every two years. I may just move, because that was absolutely shocking. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode and enjoyed the reboot of this West Ham series, please hit that like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be updated when this Mission Impossible series comes out because it's not going to be daily. I'm not going to push myself to do that because of time constraints and I'm going to try and improve the content because the doctor told me to. Also subscribe if you are new to the channel and you've been brought over to this video because of all the hype that I've hopefully created. I've been JNO, you guys have been awesome and remember, have fun gaming.